bueno. Pues, hola, estudiantes a distancia. Hablamos hoy de pronombres, subject pronouns. Let's review a little bit. We already sang our song. Yo is I and tú is you, usted. El and ella, he and she. Usted is you, more formally. Nosotros, nosotras, both mean we. Ustedes is y'all the southern way. Vosotros is y'all but just in Spain. Ellos and ellas both mean they. And that brings us back to yo. So we reviewed this stuff. We need to know these pronouns when we talk about verbs in Spanish. Because um, we need to know which pronoun we're talking about, which person we're talking about in order to conjugate a verb. You guys remember talking about conjugating verbs in eighth grade? Levanten las manos if you've heard that term, conjugate. Have you heard that term before? Some, yes, maybe, some, no. Pues, today we're going to conjugate the verb ser in Spanish, and that means we're going to change the verb ser so we know who's doing the action of that verb. I, you, he, she. Ser means to be. Escribe, por favor, en el papel, to be. Aquí. Chicos de distancia está aquí en el paquete amarillo. Ser means to be. I sometimes like to call it a Hamlet verb because of Hamlet's famous line in the Shakespeare play. Do you know that play? Do you remember what Hamlet says? To be or not to be, that is the question. In Spanish, there are two verbs that mean to be. Ser is the one we're talking about today, but estar also means to be. And they're used in different situations, and we'll get into that later. Pues, you already know some of these forms of ser. Now, in English, we use ser all the time. But I don't say I be, you be, he or she to be. We say I am, you are, he is. Those are all forms of to be, the verb in English. So in Spanish, we can say I am. Does anyone have a guess? I am. The word is soy. Does that sound familiar? Nod your heads if it sounds familiar. Okay, I see lots of nodding. That's good. Yo soy means I am. And I think on your paper there's a space for you to write it in English. It means I am. Yo means I. Soy means am. La forma tu. Any guesses? We've used it before in the question, where are you from? Can you identify which verb in that, which word in that question means, are you? Do you remember how to ask that question in Spanish? De donde eres? De donde eres means, from where are you? De donde eres? Significa you are. And it's an informal you, somebody that you're on a first name basis with. You guys are going to recognize the usted el ella form of ser because it looks kind of like the English form. I am, you are, he or she is. Can you guess what it is in Spanish? Are you guys thinking this? Ace? Nod your heads if you're thinking ace. Muy bien. Ace. Ace in Spanish can mean either she or he is. But it, if you're using it with usted, it can also mean you are, but a more formal you. La forma nosotros, nosotras de ser, somos. Nosotros somos means we are. La forma vosotros, sois. Sois. 
Vosotros sois. Vosotras sois. Means y'all are if you're in Spain. España. Come on, green marker. You can do it. Oh, that's the most I've written with that green marker. It's very stubborn. La forma ustedes, ellos, ellas. Does anyone know? Ethan? Son. Sí, excelente. Muy bien. Son. Ustedes son. Puede ser they are or y'all are. And remember, ustedes is y'all in almost every country of the world. Except for Spain. Bueno, you'll notice that in English, we have a lot of R's. You are, you are, we are, y'all are, they are, y'all are. In English, we have fewer ver verb um, forms than they do in Spanish. Oftentimes, there's a different form for I or you or he or she. Like he or she eats, but I eat. Eats, eat. Or he runs, I run, you run, he runs, we, we run, they run, y'all run. In English, we don't have a whole lot of verb forms. So in English, we need to include the subject pronoun, I, you, she or he, we, y'all, they. In Spanish, since almost every um, person has its, his or her own or the group's own verb form, since there's six different forms, oftentimes in Spanish, they leave off the subject pronoun. They'll leave off the yo or they'll leave off the tu when they speak. So instead of always saying, for example, yo soy de los Estados Unidos, I'm from the United States. They could just say, soy de los Estados Unidos. And it's clear from this verb form, soy, that that means I am. Or if I asked you, where are you from? I could say, de donde eres, tu, or de donde eres, without a tu, without the word tu, and then we'll know that, that I'm talking to you because I'm using the tu form of eres. So in Spanish, oftentimes they leave off these subject pronouns when they speak. Otro punto. Um, what, there was another point I was going to make. Oh, they are not interchangeable. In English, we use R, A-R-E, for a lot of different people. But in Spanish, if I said something like tu, son, because son means R, and I need tu needs an R, that would sound weird. Tu son just sounds off. Or, for example, if I said nosotros sois, mm sounds weird. They don't go together. So in Spanish, we have to memorize these six forms of ser and which pronouns they apply to, which group of people they apply to. ¿Está bien? Bueno. Um, there is a chant I like to teach to learn these forms of ser and memorize them forever. Pues... It's a clappy chant. Normally, I ask students to find a partner and clap, but I don't think we can do that this year because of COVID-19. Darn 2020, right? Let's return this year. So instead, you can just clap on your desk in front of you. Did you ever do, like, Miss Mary, Mac, 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 all dressed in black? What? You know what I'm talking about? Your little kids, maybe? Okay. It's muy fácil. First, we clap, and then we say, soy... Eres, es, 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 clap. Somos, sois, son, son, son. Easy, right? But if it gets in your head, that rhythm and the clapping will help you remember all six forms of ser in the correct order. Otra vez. Can they see me on screen? We'll see. Hi. Okay, ready? Clap first. Soy, eres. Actually say the words. Got it? Can you see them? You can look on your paper too. Uno, dos, tres. Soy. Eres. Es, es, es. Somos. Sois. Son, son, son. Otra vez. 
otra vez. Está bien? I'll sing it for you guys now. Ready? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Soy. Eres. Es, es, es. Somos. Soy. Son, son, son. Yeah? Yeah. Having a rhythm really helps you remember things. Pues, la próxima cosa es... Um, we're going to make some flashcards and practice this. So we've made flashcards. Soy, eres, es, somos, soy, son, for all six of those verb forms. Ahora practicamos. Pues, which verb form would you use to match with tú? Which verb form matches tú? Sí, excelente. Es eres. Eres matches do. Which verb form matches yo? And soy. Soy. Yo soy. I am. Which would, which form of ser would you use with ellos? Ellos. Which form of ser matches ellos? Son, ellos, ellos son, they are. How about nosotras? Which form of ser matches nosotras? Si, sí, somos, somos, nosotras somos means we are. How about el? Which form of ser matches el? Bien, el es, el es, he is. Usted, which form of ser matches with usted? Usted es, the same one, right? Usted es means you formal are. Vosotras, vosotras. Vosotras sois. Y'all are, if you're in Spain. What about ustedes? Ustedes. Ustedes son. Ustedes son. Do you need um, papers? Aquí está. Necesita seis. I'm going to make it a little bit más difícil, more difficult, más difícil. For ejemplo, what form of ser would you match with the name Roberto? So you have to think, okay, Roberto means Robert. That's one boy. And that you can substitute his name with L. And the form of ser that goes with L is A. Roberto es. Roberto is L A. What form of ser would you match with Susana? You could substitute Susana with ella, she, and it would go with es. Ella es, Susana es. Susana is. How about Carlos y Carolina? Which form of ser would you use to talk about both Carlos y Carolina? First, you have to think in your head, Carlos y Carolina, we could substitute their names with the pronoun ellos, they, and then we have to match that pronoun ellos with son. Ellos son. They are. Carlos y Carolina are. Why can't I say Carlos y Carolina somos? Why doesn't that work? Why can't? Because it's not we, exactly. Carlos y Carolina is not a we. To use somos, I have to be saying we are instead of they are. What about for tu y yo? Which form of ser would I match with tu y yo? There's like a lot of things you have to do. You have to think tu y yo, that means you and I. I could substitute you and I with, not you guys, because I'm in it, the yo form, so I could substitute it with nosotros, and then I have to use the nosotros form of ser, somos. You and I are, we are. Miguel y tu, if you're in Mexico, Miguel y tú, if you're in Mexico and not Spain. Miguel y tú means Miguel and you. And I could substitute that with you plural, you guys, and I'm not in Spain, so I can't use vosotros. I have to use ustedes, son. Miguel y tú son, ustedes son. What about if you are in Spain? Miguel y tú if you are in Spain. Miguel and you if you're in Spain, vosotros sois. Y'all are, vosotros sois. La próxima es Elena y Gloria. 
So you're thinking Elena y Gloria. Those are two girls, and I could substitute those two names with they, ellas, and I need the form of ser that matches they. Ellas son means they are. Elena and y Gloria are. Ellas son. How about Marta y usted? Marta y usted. See? Marta and you formal. Those are two people, so we need one of our plural forms of ser. Marta y usted. We need a plural form of ser, one that's used to talk about more than one person. Marta and you formal. So I could say Marta and you, y'all. What's y'all the southern way? Do you remember? Usted es son. Usted es son. Could I use vosotros? The vosotros form for that one? Marta, you said. Only in Spain, but could I use vosotros in Spain? Harper, I hear you shaking. I see you shaking your head. Can you explain why, or is it just a gut feeling? Well, it's a big. Uh, ustedes doesn't mean they, though. No, for some. Yep, son can mean they are, but it can also mean y'all are. Ustedes son. Rose, can you explain it? We're addressing you formally. Yes, because we're addressing you all formally, because there was an usted in that group. So if I'm in Spain and I'm talking to a group of people with usted, I still have to use ustedes. The next one is Felipe. Which form of ser would you use with Felipe? Felipe, he is, él es, él es. How about Elena y Jorge? So Elena y Jorge, those are two people. I'm talking about them in the third person. They are, ellos son. Elena y Jorge son, they are. How about Rodrigo y yo? Rodrigo y yo. Rodrigo y yo. Peek at somebody sitting near you. Are you holding up the same thing? Rodrigo y yo. Hmm. Rodrigo y yo. Rodrigo and I. That has an I in it, so it has to be in the first person, right? Rodrigo and I, we, went to the store and we bought pancake mix. Nosotros somos. What about Mariana y tú, if you're in Spain? Mariana y tú. In España. Mariana and you means Mariana and two, and that would be a y'all, the southern way, but in Spain, so we'd use vosotros. Vosotros sois. Uh, let's do another one. Susana, Maria, y yo. Susana, Maria, y yo. Peek at somebody sitting near you. Are you holding up the same thing? If not, talk about it. Actually, speak out loud. Don't be shy. Susana, Maria, y yo. That has a yo in it. Susana, Maria, and I went to the store, and we bought a bag of chips. So I have to use the nosotros for. Nosotros somos. Next one, Paco y Josefina. Paco y Josefina. Which form of Sarah would we use with Paco y Josefina? Kind of hard to read through your phone. Let's see. Did you peek at somebody near you? Paco y Josefina? I could say Paco and Josefina. Two people talking about them. They. They are. Ellos son. Ellos son. How are you feeling about this? Thumbs up? I feel okay. We can be done. Thumbs down? I feel like I need more practice. So, so. I see mostly thumbs up and some, a couple that are thumbs down, and that's okay. We'll get there. Please, my recommendation is write the English meaning on the back, or you can con you can write, um, for example, yo, yo, and then parentheses, ser, and then you can conjugate it. So on the back, soy means I am. Eres, you are. Use these as flashcards. You're going to use these words a lot. For es, it's just two little letters in Spanish, but in English, that would be a lot of stuff, right? It would be she or he is, you formal are. Flashcards are a really good learning device, so feel free to finish these using the information on your yellow notes that we wrote down earlier. Ah, there. Vamos a terminar. Adios, chicos de aprendizaje a distancia.
¿Dónde está? Este. 